to Gettrick Farm. So we're back with another episode of UMRV, Upper Mississippi River Valley. And today we are going to be doing a handful of things. First off, I have updated my graphics settings and hopefully that's going to resolve some of the issues we've been running into on the series here with the uh, poor FPS and some weird visual artifacts. And uh, for today's episode, aside from uh, keeping an eye on those things, we are going to be uh, continuing our trial on the loading wagons here. Uh, it seems to be working all right. I know at the end of the last episode, we set this all up and I had some issues with auto drive uh, doing its thing. I think I've got that all sorted out. We clearly needed more headland uh, space down here though for this job. Um, I didn't think about that with this fence and everything being down here. So as you can see, uh, it's having a little bit of struggle here, but that's okay. It's gonna figure it out. And then we're also gonna be ramping up our barley harvest across the uh, field there. You can see the combine and the grain cart going over the hill there. We're most of the way done with that field now. Um, this guy is really not gonna figure this out, is he? All right, here we go. I'm gonna help you turn. See, you're not even going to hit the fence. I mean, we're, we're probably nudging it just a little bit, but it's it's fine. Come on. All right. Let's get you uh, pointed back down the next row here, and we'll start this guy back off. And then uh, while we're doing that, the last job that we really need to focus on today is getting the uh, mowers working on this big grass field across the way. We need hay. And I've got all of their conditioners on and I moved the equipment over there. I just didn't get a chance to start them off on the mowing job yet. And now that I'm looking at it, we probably need to start raking that grass that we cut across uh, by the back of the house. So we do have a number of things that need our uh, attention right now. We're gonna let this guy go. Uh, as you can see, the course play auto drive uh, connection is working great. He's gonna come on down here and jump on the auto drive network and he will work his way all the way over to the harvest store and dump. This was the correct setup uh, for this. I just, uh, I think I just didn't have it all turned on or I didn't have the right point set. I, I don't even remember, but it's all set and working now. So no worries, let's get to it. I think the first thing I wanna do is get these mowers going because we really need some hay. I did buy a stack of hay bales just to keep the feed mixing going. Uh, because we were starting to stack up on the silage and I had these tractors just sitting around in the yard not hauling feed to the barns and our barns do not have enough feed for us to move forward another uh, day on the calendar here so we do need to uh, get that done a nice leisurely stroll over here to our haying equipment and we'll get this started up, get a course generated real quick and get out there. Now, if I remember right from the previous attempt here, I said one headland pass wasn't enough, even with all three pieces of equipment. I think I wanted to do two. So we're gonna remember to do that this time. Create job, course play, uh, field work on, this target is not on a field. Okay, let's be more on a field. Will that make you happier? It does. Three tools, two headlands this time. Generate course. Life is good. Nice straight lines. Uh, first waypoint. Let's copy this before we start off and send you on your way. We're going to paste the same course in here. He's going to go on the center from the first waypoint. And likewise over here, we're going to go on to the right from the first waypoint. And just like that, we've got all of our haying going. You can see that we are making the hay. We've got the lighter colored grass texture on the ground there. Yeah, we're looking good. Well, that should be awesome. And then we just need to get the rake going here on these two smaller fields next. So let's jog ourselves back up to the farm and see about getting that job going. We've got so much equipment now that I've gotten uh, somewhat tired of always trying to tab through all of the equipment, even with the mod on that helps me uh, remove things from the tabbing. It isn't quite enough to uh, make our lives easy. We're running, you know, six to 10 pieces of equipment on the farm at any given time nowadays. Uh, I'm gonna create a very quick course here, open generator, uh, two headland passes if possible. And this is the same thing that's working with on this thing. Uh, gets set to 2.9 for some reason. 
Uh, I don't know why, but we're going to set that up to 15. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And then we will start this off on the first waypoint here. We better double check in the store here. Yeah, 15 meters. It's the only uh, piece of equipment I've got on the farm right now that has troubles with working with in course play. So, yeah, it is what it is. So with that going, let's check in here. Our combine seems to be doing a great job. I'm loving it. This setup has been working excellent for us. And likewise, the grain cart here has been doing good with this semi. I, I honestly, I didn't expect this semi to be able to do the U-turn and do all this stuff on its own. Um, automation has been surprising me on this playthrough as we've gotten into some of this. And uh, everything's just kind of working, which is great. And this will have enough uh, capacity to fill up the semi and send that back up to the yard. So, yeah, we're in a good spot here. Just checking in on our mowing situation here. This all seems to be working. We've done this job a number of times now, though, so I wouldn't expect uh, any issues with this. Uh, so we're going to let these guys go. They've got quite a while. We've got 47 minutes of mowing to do here. But I will be able to start the rake off behind these guys uh, as soon as I get it done on the other fields. Uh, just by copying the same course and sending it down the center path. Uh, so I, we might be able to come over here and get some uh, hay off of this field if I need it for feed. But that stack of feed that we bought should get us through if we just take a quick look at the production chain menu. You can see I've got 70 cubic yards of hay in here. We've got the grass turning in, into silage, so we should be good. We're cranking out TMR now, and uh, just out of curiosity, we're still running through our slurry digestate. We're keeping up with all of that. Things are going really well here on the farm outside of being extremely low on feed. I've just got to remember not to move the clock forward until we get all of these barns topped up. I guess two of them at least have just enough feed to move one more day forward but I need to get some more into barn B here, um, which we've got somebody assigned to deliver there as soon as it's made. So I'm not too worried about it right now. And just checking in here, it looks like we got done with the grass. So I'm going to get rid of this course play course, and then we will send this guy over to uh, dump in the harvest store if I can. He's planning a path. He, he seems to be confused. Let me just take over he's apparently too far away from the auto drive course to actually do something on his own i would uh, just send him on to the next area to uh, start picking grass up but there's no sense doing that until we can empty the grass that we've got i'm really surprised this giant 8rx is uh, pulling this thing up the hill so slowly i don't know what was going on there all right off you go to the harvest store and then I don't actually have a point set up for the other farm field. I'm going to have to set one of those up if I want this to be an automated process. So we'll do that in a minute or two here. Uh, I don't need to fill. I need to dump. And then just hopping over here onto the other side of the farm. We've got the rake going. Looks like it's missing just the smallest bits in a few places here. That's unfortunate. Uh, well, we're getting it done. And this will only take another pass or two. Just a, a couple of minutes. And we'll be able to go run this over to... Uh, oh man, that corner field over there. The little field, I suppose, still needs to get raked. Yet yeah, we're missing a little bit over there too. That's uh, a little bit awkward. Oh no, the combine actually got full. And the green card didn't make it back over here. I suppose we are getting to the far end of the field here. That's bound to happen. What are you doing, sir? That is not how I would have uh, recommended the green card get into position, but it is what it is. Course play uh, sometimes has a mind of its own. That's all right. At least he's pulling right in alongside, and all of this seems to be working well. No complaints, I suppose. Maybe it's been doing this kind of uh, wonky driving all along and I just haven't been paying attention, but either way, things are cruising over here. Not a lot of downtime, which I love to see. 
And I love seeing the, all that grass getting cut already. Oh, we're making progress, folks. So next up, I think I've proved out that these wagons can actually work. But I'm not sure this 8RX is the best fit for it. And given how it's been going, we're going to want more than one of these. I'm trying to think about how I would set more than one of these up onto a field. Because if I rake it, I'm not sure where I would start them because I wouldn't have like a multi-vehicle course for them to follow. It's almost like I want to be able to set one of these up on each individual field because I need to start getting the straw off of that field while I could also be getting the grass off of a field over there. So I think what we're going to do with our two million and some odd dollars is take a quick look here and see if I have a 7R mod on here. I don't, is that a large tractor technically? Let's see, we've got the 8R series. I feel like an 8R would be overkill. So I think I'm gonna grab that 7R back there that I just passed. I'm just looking to see which mods I've got installed right now. So I've got two of these and I don't know which one is which. They're probably from two different uh, modders. So let me take a look at this one. That's got a lot of stuff on it. Let me take a look at this one. This is an older version, I think, because this is a 7210R, and this uh, 7R270 Gen 2. This is a 7310. Man, I'm pretty sure these are. this is a slightly older one, and this is the slightly newer one. It does go up to a 350 IVT. I'm trying to remember what horsepower I need in this thing. So if I just got a base 270, that's 305 horsepower. Versus if I go all the way up to the 350, we'll get we'll get a bigger one. I think I'm going to end up with a couple of these, to be honest. And I'm trying to think about what tires I would want on this. I don't know that I need duels on a loading wagon setup. I'd actually rather have some wider tires on there you know maybe something like this do i need fenders i don't but it looks pretty cool i don't actually need a three-point hitch on here right now so i'm not gonna get one i don't know why but i always add these uh gps or the and the isara scanners on the mirrors i don't know that we'll ever use this tractor on something that needs it but you know what we're just gonna have it all on there by default i'm gonna run the wider tires on here though i think because i don't need to do any row crop stuff with this it's a three thirty three 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 hundred and thirty thousand for this um what were my other tractor brand options Ooh, floaters that looks kind of cool i don't know that that makes any sense for uh running grass though you guys let me know in the comments. I might need to play around with wheel options here a little bit at some point uh, just for the fun of it uh, because that looks like a lot of fun, but it just doesn't seem very practical for what we're doing. So I think we're going to stick with the 900s here. Yeah, we'll do this. And uh, while we're here, I'm going to get two identical ones. And then we are going to use these with a another loading wagon. And I'm just realizing I forgot to, oh man, I forgot to put my stuff, my spawn point in a reasonable location. So this is about to be a large disaster here. Let's see where all this equipment ended up spawning. Yeah, I left it over here by the harvest stores, didn't I? Well, that's all right. It actually all kind of fits in here. Um, cool. Well, we're going to go ahead and get this 7R hooked up over here. And pull it up into the yard. We'll get the other 7R switched out as well. And see how this goes. I like the little bit chunkier tires that we've picked here. I think that's going to work out really well for what we're doing at least. There we go. We'll leave him there and let's get this 8R disconnected. And I'm going to just put this 8R right up in the shed here, I think. We should have enough space for me to squeeze it in here behind uh, the sprayer. That way I'm not necessarily in the way when we come to put the combine back in here. There we go. And let's get that other 7R all hooked up here. And uh, we'll be 
good to go to start working on these fields. I think that rake's probably about done now too, so we can get that out into this other field and send these loading wagons on their way right behind uh, the rakes so that we can hopefully make some progress. Oh, the brakes did not work at all there for me. I uh, don't know what I was doing wrong. I do sometimes like having the IBT transmissions and things. It makes it a little bit easier at times. But then I also get so used to switching gears and using the spacebar to go forwards and backwards that um, it's like, well, now it's not working. I'm not going backwards when I push the spacebar. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, let's get this guy turned around. I'm trying to think if I wanted to send these into the same field or if we're just going to separate. I think we're just going to separate. I want to start getting some straw in the harvest store here as well. So we're going to do that. Uh, but first, you know what? Let's get our uh, settings all adjusted here. I usually try to uh, have a better field of view. I have this FOV control mod that I've been using and it makes it so that I can save my FOV settings on a per vehicle basis and it saves it on a per uh, camera basis. So my uh, exterior camera, I can have it like a 45 degree. And then if we go to the interior camera, you can see I've got it set to 65, which seems to be a little bit uh, wider view and feels pretty solid on my interior views. And that'll save even when I exit the game on, uh, on each vehicle. So I only have to set it once per vehicle. And I really like that. Um, this has been a, a great mod uh, for me, especially as somebody trying to do YouTube and you're always trying to get uh, a little bit better shots here. Um, actually, that wouldn't be a bad uh, screenshot right there if we didn't have the feed wagon waiting to get through here. There we go. What do you think? We've got a fleet of uh, loading wagons now. We'll grab a screen capture. So with that, I think what I'll do is we'll s we'll bring this guy over and we will get him running on the grass we've got by the side of the house here. And that field's not huge, but it does have a little bit of uh, grass going on here. So what we're going to do, and this is a one-way course, so I'm going to spin on up here, bounce around in the yard, and we're going to put in a turn off right here and I'm gonna just bring this right down and into the field like so and what I should have done is had that go both ways it looks like my rake got stuck down there I'm gonna have to go fix him but um, what are we gonna call this field what did I call the other one? It's the far the other one's the farm hayfield. Uh, farm hayfield. So we can call this one the farm house field. These two are a completely different naming convention than all of our other numbered fields. Unfortunately, I didn't think about that at all. Either way, we're going to uh, make a good chunk of this course a two-way course and then I'm gonna come up here and have it connect back to the driveway once we get just a little bit closer something like that ought to work nicely so the way this is gonna work is farm house field we're gonna dump at the harvest store dump and we're getting grass I'm going to get this guy spun around here. We're going to turn on the course play hookup. And then we're going to come over here and get the course out of our rake. Although it does look like I might need to fix the rake. This is just because we can't get a double headland pass out of this. And he managed to catch the edge of a tree there. That's all right. I should be able to come over here and send him on the nearest waypoint from back here. I don't want this uh, rake to grab too much of the part it's already done though. So let's see if we can make this work out. And I need to copy, oh, let's stop this. I need to copy this course. Paste it, first waypoint, 
started. There we go, should be working now. Obviously we raked up some of that first headland pass it looks like. I'm not sure, uh, I'm just not sure. <laughs> anyway, we might have a little bit of cleaning up to do when we're all done with this, but it's looking good. In fact, I'm looking over into our other field over there. Can't really see it from in cab, but there's some piles on the headland passes and stuff over there too that we'll have to check out. But we're doing great here. This thing is filling up quick though. And over here, it looks like the combine managed to get full. We are uh, not quite keeping up when the grain cart has to go empty on the far side of the field there. Oh uh, well, it's still automated and working, so that's all that matters. Our uh, grass field is, or our hay here is getting done rather quickly. And it looks like the one of the reasons we're having problems is we left a bunch of equipment parked in the way, so I'm going to go ahead and get this guy out of the way so our semi can get through and dump this grain off. Sorry about that, uh, sir. And I believe this is field seven I need to be going out to for our straw. I want to get this guy started on that. It's going to be a little difficult with the semi sitting there in the way, though, so I'm not sure how that'll work just yet. Oof, where is this guy going? Apparently the closest auto drive course for him was to jump through the ditch and get out onto this road. That's a little bit of a problem. Why is he trying to grab the wrong side? I don't know what is going on right now. Stay in the field, please, there. Uh, miss worker. Not towards the tree. Not towards the tree. Okay. Okay, you've got this. You can do it. I have faith in you. We're back on track over here with the uh, barley. We've got just one round left after this pass. I like it. And then last but not least, we're going to go ahead and get the uh, rake out of the way here. And he's ready to be sent over to the other uh, field over here and start doing the grass on that little field way back in the corner of the map there. So we'll get this guy driving out there. I don't know that I've got a field marker for that field yet either. Which field is that? Field four. Did I create a field four? I feel like I did. All right. I think our loading wagon made it out to field seven. I've got to go check in on him. He's going to be in the way of the semi coming in here momentarily as well. Can't reach field four. What? What are you talking about? It's right down there. Okay. Well, I'm going to drive down here and figure out why you're having a malfunction, sir. I think I see the problem. There's no good connection here. This is a very jagged, wonky uh, setup. So let me do this. And let me do that, and then I will connect those two there. And that should work. We hope. We might need to change this around now. Uh, we're going to dump at the harvest store. We're collecting nothing. Oh, no, this is the wrong one. Ignore me. I thought we were already in the loading wagon. We're still dealing with the rake. Make sure I'm pulled fully onto this field and we'll get him going. Creating a quick job. Generating a course. And sending him on his way. Now, over here is where I need to do field seven. Harvest store dump. And we're picking up uh, not soybean straw, just regular straw. And then over here, I do need to copy this course, which has my combines path. And that's what's going to allow me to start this driver off on the same course. We'll do first waypoint. And even though we didn't rake or anything in this field, I think this is going to work out fine. Um, it's a little bit of ground to cover, but I think we're going to load up pretty quick. They're nice straight lines to follow. And it's not picking up the straw. Oh, it is. Okay, I just didn't start uh, back while we were driving over the giant pile of straw. Uh, this job's going to take a little over an hour to do, and that probably doesn't count all my auto drive time back and forth. 
That's a downside of not raking it up first. However, we are filling up the hopper on this thing relatively quickly. I mean, we haven't even done this first little bit and we're already at almost 20%. So I'm not gonna worry about the rake. I think that'd be overkill. We're just gonna have to uh, run a small fleet of these, but we will be able to automate it. So I guess that's a trade-off. If I were to bail this, you know, I could just send the baler out here and bail it all up and then run around with a bale trailer myself and uh, probably get through this a little bit quicker. Uh, so, man, I don't know. We'll just have to think about it. But everything seems to be a working at least. And uh, this is all about the automation here on uh, this whole thing. So we're going to make sure we turn that on. Always forget. And we're going to just let them go. We, I think it's probably okay. Our grass seems to be working here all right. It's uh, getting back into position over here. So this one's obviously made a full round already and has no problems. And our combine is at the end of its course here. We're unloading the last bits of barley into the grain cart and we can get this guy back up to the farm. And uh, uh, it's gonna need some washing here. It is filthy. That's all right. Um, let me think about this. Can I sneak out? through the grass field over here I can so that's gonna be the next thing that we're gonna do actually after we get this straw up off of the headlands is I'm gonna get the plow out and I'm gonna combine these fields and we're gonna have one giant uh, hay field here I think because if I plant now since we're just cutting this grass as well I think it'll all get ready about the same time and I'll get one more good cutting off of uh, this field and the the barley field if I seed that all with grass so I think that's going to be the plan folks and then we will plant our other crops in these smaller fields that we're getting the grass off of right now we'll put in some soybeans in all of those fields I think that's going to be the plan um, I'm trying to think about where I can get this header into the yard you know what maybe we'll just park it over here right now rather than try to wreck things you squeeze in between the signs and the fences we've got this nice wide uh, equipment lot over here now and uh yeah we're gonna have some good weather for the next few days we can leave this thing outside for the time being no problemos looking good all right our grass is almost done getting cut over here what we need to do is hop on out into this field and get this grain cart emptied out into the semi and then send that semi back up to the farm and have it stop showing up out here so it's not interfering with the uh, course for our whatchamacallit um, the loading wagon that's going to pick up the straw we don't want him being in the way in fact I think he just had an issue or this guy had an issue he couldn't find a way to get out to that semi we do have most of a load here on the grain cart too so we definitely need to get this thing emptied out real quick all right it looks like we've got a bit of a traffic jam here i'm going to go ahead and shut down this auto drive on the semi and try and get him out of the way here i hope i left that tractor running and i can just pull under here and unload we'll find out there we go and instead of this, we're going to deliver up to the farm bin site. Nice and uh, topped off here. Put the rest in the back hopper. There we go. That's a good amount of barley. Pretty happy with those yields. And if I just zip this guy right back around, I should be able to pick up the auto drive course here. Perfect. And let's go ahead and send this guy back up to the farmyard as well. Looking good. We're still having this wheel issue. I do not know what's going on with that. I adjusted some graphic settings and stuff, which seems to have stabilized my frame rates. Um, they're not great right now, but they're not uh, lurching all over the place. But this is more of a game issue. And it's multiple mods that are having this problem on this map. So I don't know what's going on. We're going to keep an eye on it on the uh, new save that we're running on uh, Missouri River Bottom and see if it starts happening with any of our equipment over there. 
But at this point, since it's uh, multiple pieces of equipment that this is happening to, I'm not going to start swapping out mods just because it looks really wonky. Um, it's, it's clearly not a mod specific problem. Looks like everybody's coming through the harvest store here. No problemos. I am a little curious to see how much grass we've got left on the other side of the farm here. This guy's been running for a little while now. And it doesn't let me see how much progress we've made on our course play course until we get back. It kind of saves that off to the side here. For better or worse, we don't go very fast when we're moving through the yard. The drivers do like to take their time and not go plowing into things, so we'll get there. It doesn't look like there's a lot left to this field. A few passes, although it looks like we may have to come back in and clean up a little bit if we want to maximize getting uh, all the grass off of this field, but it's looking pretty good. We're getting there. And then we've got the grain all emptied out, but I do need to move this semi out of the enclosure. Usually I just leave it there, but with the uh, loading wagon coming through here to get back and forth from that field on the other side of the house there. I think I need to just back this semi up and uh, go from there. I have to say this wheel thing is uh, getting more and more noticeable. It wasn't this bad uh, when I first started seeing it and now I can't stop seeing it. I can't stop talking about it. We're going to have to figure out what's going on with this at some point. It's just so weird that we're seeing it with all these different pieces of equipment. I don't know oh, what is going on with this. All right, we're going to leave that parked there. You know, I thought that it was that semi mod that was a problem, but take a look at this. This is a Giants DLC tractor that we're running here. And look at those hubcaps flying back and forth. This is a uh, base game problem, it looks like, or at least uh, something that Giants is doing wrong as well. Very fascinating. I have to say, with all of this extra equipment we've been picking up lately, we're running out of places to put it. We're going to have to start being maybe a little bit more thoughtful about which pieces of equipment actually end up in the shed versus which ones get parked out other places. I think I'm running into this tillage equipment just a little bit. I always forget when we've got these front duels on that we're a little bit wider in the front end there. Don't mind us cows, we're just trying to put this green card in the corner here. There it is, perfect. We'll just leave this in here as well for the time being. Don't have any need for it. And with that, uh, I think we're ready to get this rake moving on the big field. Uh, actually, I, I need to copy the course off of this rake first. So let's see, how would I do that? We're gonna get rid of the course I have copied now. I don't have anything needing it. And we're gonna copy this one. That way, as soon as the loading wagon that's over on the far side of the house it is done, we can move him over onto this field next. And uh, that'll work out perfectly for us. Now, I just don't know if I can delete the course that's on this guy right now until I put it onto another vehicle. Like, I don't know if the clipboard holds it, uh, even though no vehicle currently has that course active or not. I'm going to not risk it just yet, because I think that that other loading wagon's got to be almost done here. Our straw wagon is doing great here, though. We're almost uh, all the way around the field for the first time. It's going to have to unload one more time before then. This is going to be a job that takes a while, though, uh, doing it this way. So I'm still thinking about whether or not this is going to be more efficient than running bales or not. It's definitely easier on me because I don't have to pick up the bales and it's one less job to do, one less piece of equipment I have to worry about. But yeah, AI pathing and such seems to be a little scary there. I thought it was going to drive right into that water. Well, I guess we'll follow this guy back out to the grass field and see how we're doing. So we're out here and... We actually have a surprising amount of grass left to pick up, just in that there's this one strip all the way the length of the full field here. So I think what I'll do, we're going to actually take over from 
horse play here and do it ourselves. See how far we get. We're going to pick up some of the scraggly bits around on the headland here as well, since I'm here. Get rid of this giant window in the way. We're already at 12%. I bet you I can get this thing to 25% just picking up uh, headlands and stuff. But we're not going to hit all of the missing bits here. We'll just try to get the biggest ones. I know there's some more that we missed further down on the headlands. Uh, maybe there wasn't as much as I expected there, though. We're only at 16%. And my turning radius is not the best here. Let's uh, go ahead and back up just a bit. It is sometimes refreshing, though, to be using the IVT and not have to worry about am I in the right gear or not uh, for being on a side hill and what speed I'm going and all that good stuff. We just kind of push the pedal down and away we go. We've got... Oh man, the uh, steering column doesn't come back on this one. Um, trying to remember... That's a door. No, nope, not that one either. I don't see any IC type stuff here either. Okay, well that's unfortunate. I always uh, prefer when the steering column will come down on something. Oh, the right mouse button's actually opening up course play. That might be part of my problem. I always forget with new equipment, we have to turn that particular uh, feature off. Which way? Nope, no dice there, folks. Well, I'm probably just missing it because it feels like this particular tractor should have uh, some more controls and stuff on it, but Perhaps not. Either way, we managed to get to 92% on that rundown, so we are almost perfectly topped off. I'm not going to go back for that little tiny bit there, but we will pick up the scraggly bits along the way on this path, since there's a number of them that got dropped. And we'll be all done with this field, and I can actually come in here get rid of this and put the grass field for the corner on so that I don't forget about it and with the last of these bits getting picked up right here we will be able to send this guy down to fill up and then on to field four all on his own I will help him out though a little bit by getting up to where the auto drive course is I have to say, I think the 7R is working pretty good on the hills and such here with this big uh, loading wagon. Haven't had any major concerns. Good sized tractor as well. And uh, without the duals on, it doesn't, it isn't any wider than the loading wagon itself. Everything kind of lines up very nicely. Checking in here, we're on the final pass with our grass work as well right now. So that's awesome. We'll have all of this wrapped up as well. So I can probably find my rake and get it started on the grass field next. Here we are. Um, I can clear its course now. And then here we'll just copy from, well, that guy won't let me copy. This guy's done. I can copy from him, right? No? Okay, it was copying. I just didn't uh, update how I thought it would. That's fine. We'll come over here, paste that in, do the center, start at the first one, hit start. And checking in on Straw Guy. Straw Guy's almost back to the entrance. We've gotten one time around the field and made multiple trips up to the harvest store, which reminds me the whole reason we're doing this is so that we can start making TMR with less silage. So I'm going to deactivate this one and we're going to activate this one that uses some straw alongside the silage and the hay. And we should start getting a TMR that way, which will work out better for us. Preserve more of this silage. Good deal. Alrighty. Well, let's see what we've got. This guy is empty and heading out to this new field four. So I should be able to turn that off enable this mode and then I'm just gonna come right over here and hit start on the first waypoint and things should just work for us all right well I have to say our trial mode with the loading wagons is going mostly successfully uh, it's a little bit slower I think than if I just ran a baler over it and then picked up the bales uh, I think that we could get that done just a little bit faster 
but uh, we're making good progress. I'm going to get uh, this equipment off of the field. We don't need these mowers anymore. And we're going to let uh, some of these workers do their things. I'm trying to tab around here and check on uh, some of the other ones. But we're moving and grooving on our hay raking. And we've got uh, tons and tons of straw that we're going to be pulling off of this field for hours to come. That's okay. Not too worried about it. And then we've also got just lots of grass and hay that we'll be picking up with the other worker here at the same time. Um, he's going to be making multiple trips off of this field as well, though. So we're in a good spot on the farm today. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. That's all for today. Kedrick, out.